Actor Sanjay Dutt is back in the eye of the storm as the Supreme Court today upheld his conviction in relation to the 1993 Mumbai serial blast case. He will have to undergo a jail term of three years and six months, having already spent about 18 months in jail. In December 2008, this is what he had to say in an exclusive interview to Times Now's editor-in-chief Arnab Goswami. So many episodes all strung together. You look back, what is the one thing that you'd rather undo any time in your life? The one thing which Sanjay Dutt, not Munna Bhai, Sanjay Dutt would undo if he had an opportunity. First thing. The 17 years of, of my ordeal, I would undo that. I mean, that. I mean, there are a lot of things. My mother, I would undo that. My father, I would undo that. But... I can go on, but you're right. I mean, it's it's a series of uh, uh, I could say sadness, which is there, uh, which has been connected to me in my life. Your father was your was your guiding light, wasn't he? And you told me that that is one thing which would have made him really proud to have this whole case yeah. out of your head. And he stood by you like a rock. You told me the last time I met you, but how he stood by you every single minute. What would he like? What life? What turn would he like your life to take now? If you think he was around now, beyond being a film star, I feel he was already very proud of me. Uh, you know, he had seen me grow, which he told me once or twice. You know, during Munna by MBBS, we shot together. Yes, some incredible scenes. Actually. Yes, and uh, you know, he he was a he was a man who was very uh, less spoken. Him and he won't say, "Hey, Sana, I love you." You know, it was very. You know, that kind of a dad, you know. And uh, I remember a couple of times he put his arms, arms around me and took me to his van and he says, I'm, I'm proud of you, son. And you're turning out to be a good human being and never let that go, ever. I mean, keep your feet on the ground, always, no matter where you are. Money is the thing. He says, do good work and I'm proud of you. And I mean, for, for me, that was the biggest thing, you know, where he did that because he used to be... He, very rarely did things like that, my father. So, I mean, uh, you know, so I, he was uh, very, very proud of me. See, many things are said by people who have not lived your life. Let me put it that way. Mm. And stereotypes are drawn from the lives of people like you. Some say he's a great guy, he's an honest guy, he's a very good at heart guy, he's a great actor and a fantastic friend. But he had wrong company at some time. That's what they say. Let's would would you would you agree with that, Sanjay? That's what I'm. Asking. Don't talk about the case, but would you agree with that? I, I, I just wanted to say one thing about that is that anybody who grows up, who's growing up in life, has wrong company. I mean, you go to a bar and you start drinking with ten friends. That is wrong company. I mean, you go to Goa and you start smoking a chillum. That is wrong company. I mean, you know, so everybody, every kid who is growing up has some kind of wrong company around him. And I'm, I'm, I was a kid at that time. I was growing up like a normal child. The only thing was I was Nargis and Sunil that son. So I was looked at. You know, that but, was absolutely. Yeah, but, but I think everybody grows up and if those phases go away and people start working and they start maturing. So I think that's exactly, that was my process like any young kid's process would be. Now, you have had many transformations, so it's always going to be easier for you to move into different roles than perhaps it is going to be for others who are more stereotyped. Because you played more roles in life, haven't you, Sanjay? Life has also been, life has also taken you through much more. Absolutely. It has a, and it's been a crazy journey from drugs to cancer to jail terms and it's been, it's been tough and God has been kind. What was the toughest moment of getting out of drugs? And really, what, what is the one person who inspired you to? There must have been one moment. It's like when you quit smoking. Yes. There's always a moment when you quit smoking and there's a person, sometimes, very often in fact, who makes you quit smoking. In your case, who was it with drugs? The person was me. And uh, what happened was that I I come home one day and I was doing my usual drugs and everything like that. And I went to sleep and... I woke up, it was early in the morning and um, I was hungry so I came out and it was about 6. So I asked the old servant, he was an old, very old servant and I asked him, I said, Chacha, thoda kuch. And you know, he hugged me, he started crying, you know. I said, but what happened? He's saying, your 
parents, your dad has gone mad trying to wake you up for the last two days. There have been doctors here and this and that. I said, what are you talking? He says, I, he says you went to sleep two days ago. I looked at myself in the mirror and uh, I just felt, uh, I mean, I'll die or something like that. Mm. And I woke up my father and I said, I want to get out of it. You help me. So I was taken to a drug rehab in the US. I feel I'm a lucky person that he could afford to do that. Yeah. And uh, I came back after two and a half years. But uh, it's the funny part is that the peddler was right there outside my door. <laughs> <laughs>